Welcome back to Factorio building the hyperbase. Um, just watched a launch take place, um, and I thought I'd just pop over here. As you can see, we actually have um, we no longer are short on rocket control units or rocket fuel. It's changed over to the LDS, which I kind of expected the low density structures uh, because we haven't expanded them yet. Uh, and obviously we need to. Um, how's this train actually doing? 7.8. We're kind of keeping up with the science uh, throughput a little bit better, I think. Um, yeah, it's up to the middle one. Uh, probably only just because it gets um, jammed due to a few things not quite being right. Um, it seems to be waiting on one of these trains to fill up. Um, what sort of numbers are they doing? Well, that's doing 5.9k, most of which should be from here. So, oh, mind you, rocket control units as well. Um, so hard to tell. That one's going back over there. How's this one doing? This one is not doing especially well. It needs some iron. Um, I never hooked up any more iron. So we've only got um, one of the iron. This one. Um, it seems to be running okay though. Uh, what have we got over there? 29k and over here 54k. Um, so yeah this is running sort of flat out but we probably because we changed this up uh, we I think we decided we probably needed um, two maybe even three irons so yeah I needed to rework all of this um, which we haven't even done this one so yeah there's there's a little bit for us to do to get yellow science but that's okay because I still think the sciences are running a little bit faster than um, this guy so we also need to get another LDS up um, but I think what I wanted to do the most was actually I've come over here to not the stone patch so much but where we are making batteries because we've got an oil patch going um, what I want to do is actually create fuel and start delivering it to well the back of the copper here uh, in time these things over here but um, also we kind of want to get up to the copper and the iron up here um, and the iron up here um, and these two coppers um, because the the plate trains actually get supplied with fuel when they come down here from this one uh, from this one but um, oh, and these ones also get supplied with fuel but uh, these ore trains do not so there's actually quite a few targets there's this one this one this one um, it'll, it'll be all of these steel ones um, it's probably possible to have it come out here. Um, well, I mean, in time, this line's not even going to exist. So um, I guess we've got this one. Um, I also I'm kind of changing the the um, subject of my discussion because we also have down here this. Uh, oil that I want to um, use to supply all the way across here and here um, and then probably these ones somehow as well um, and that would leave some of these still so yeah I want to I want to stop having to worry about trains running out of fuel um, And the first step would be to um, uh, come back to wherever I am. 
here and build an oil facility, um, a, a fueling, a refueling facility for yeah the trains around these parts. Um, now, yeah, what I was saying was these things at the moment are all bot driven, but the idea would be that since we're getting well, I'm doing work a robot speed just for something different, but uh, when we get um, I mean, what I want to do is uh, this will be driven, the refueling will be driven by bot, and I don't really want to mix the bot network, so we want to get all these onto uh, direct to train mining as well, um, and probably help do something about this number. Hmm. I hope you don't have empty. I might just take that off so you stop just going round and round aimlessly. We probably want to put it back again um, <laughs> in the not too distant future or make it a much larger number. Uh, module blue, add an activity. No, I want that. So it's not unloading. Uh, doesn't matter. We obviously have plenty of modules at the moment. This has worked pretty well once I got it set up. Keep us in modules. But I am once again waffling. So, um, what do we need to do to get fuel? Well, um, let's just jump out of that. What I noticed was that the way we are cracking this, um, heavy is basically instantly transferred into light. So if you look at any of the heavy pipes, they're, they're basically empty. Um, also, the light is just vanishing as fast as it's coming. So that also is effectively we've we've overdone the the conversion because we needed to because we wanted everything down here um, and we actually have a small surplus of um, our sulfuric acid uh, 96 so this one is not getting in we actually probably need to increase the number of pumps in here um, because I don't think we're actually getting the throughput of the product down here that we need. Maybe we are. Um, 90 Oh, you're waiting on product that no. no you're completely full okay down here you're not unloading because you've got copper because that's a thing I don't know if I need to worry about it actually at the moment um, oh it looks like the battery trains just been but it didn't unload all that much batteries load uh, batteries unload. I'm gonna whack that right up to the top. For now we'll see if it causes a problem later. Um, so uh, what this basically means is I need some tanks that I don't have on me, or well, at least one, because I'm gonna use it for some uh, logic. Basically I want to divert um, light, or at least some of the light, uh, so that we can make fuel. And it's possible I need to create another one of these, but I'm not sure yet. Effectively, we'll be disabling um, these two, I guess this one is getting light from over here so the way I made this somewhat messy situation anyway um, let's go uh, let's just head up to the starter base and 
get a couple of things that we need. Which are not those. Uh, it's basically one tank, but it defaults to not one. Uh, these here, oh, we might as well get a few of these um, and make sure we have a, an okay supply of those. We're already out of space. Okay, let's come over here and throw onto our science. Um, I should really get a little bot network here so it's a lot easier to do this. But for now, um, just dump them out by hand. We are getting a little bit behind because the yellow, we're only going to effectively burn up like eight extra because yellow is sort of coming down here and not getting burnt up but it's better than nothing I suppose that's from clearing out the hands of the um, inserters when they get clogged with the normal science because the space science wasn't keeping up um, so that's given us a little bit of space uh, what else do I want to do once we'll stop going backwards what else is in this guy? There's some ore that I don't want. Uh, you can have those. Um, for today, we don't really need uh, these guys. Um, I don't need pump jacks, I don't think. Chemical plants, yes, we do need those. I think I'm going to make uh, basically a 380 train for fuel. Because there's eight, well, there's actually 16. Isn't there? 16 on these ore trains, so maybe that's not what I want. Maybe I want a 416. Hmm, I didn't even think of that. Okay, so let's, um, if we're going to go 16, we're going to need say 20 of those and we will need 20 of these um, we've got inserters we don't have enough of these guys let's get a hundred of those uh, shall I see how we go with like a four Oops, not three, four, um, sixteen. Uh, yeah, it'll be slow to accelerate, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and yes, I should turn off Discord when I start recording but never mind um, oh and because I've flown in the wrong direction you can see how far we've got um, this is obviously still building out fairly fast I think no that would probably mean that it should be counting five which one is not there 228 so we've got 2.4k panels Oh, okay, so it stopped. I didn't even realize. Um, you, what's your condition? Uh, wait until solar panels. Uh, you're either empty or solar panels via the circuit is less than 16,000. It is less than 16,000. So what's the problem? Oh, and. So you have 848 panels uh, okay we don't need to wait until you are empty obviously let's take that condition out so that this can get back to work 
Uh, it does mean that we are on a timer in terms of getting rid of all of this rail uh, assets so that this can connect up and then start the next line. line. But um, And we're also covering a bit of some fairly juicy oil and leaving some fairly crappy oil, but hopefully we won't need it. Um, okay, I guess while we're here we should probably um, get some idea of how much we actually have in the way of power. Uh, 871,000 panels, 732,000 accumulators, it's not too bad and we're using uh, 36 gigawatts of it at the moment. So we certainly need to continue. Anyway, um, <coughs> that was flying in the wrong direction so let's find the right direction. <coughs> Remember, actually I should have just ripped up some of this stuff. <coughs> I've got beacons and things here, so I can use... Yeah, I'll, I'll come over here and steal assets off that, because we're not using that. So, um, I did not bring any pumps, did I? No, I did not. Damn it. <laughs> it's a bit of a wasted journey, never mind. Um, let's see if we have pumps up here. Oops, I've stopped slightly too soon. L. Yes, we do. We've got 17. Uh, Well, let's grab all 17. Um, am I going to need more than 17? It's possible. Let's uh, also get some engines, some steel, and pipe. Uh, in that case, let's make that 200 pipe. Might even boost that to 300. Right, now let's go. Uh, we do have some, but not a lot of green wire. Well, hopefully we don't need too much. Um, okay, so what I want to do is basically put a, I think I want to put a tank in there. Hmm. Um... Overfilled himself. Um, uh, okay. That still does everything that it was doing before, but now we might be able to fit a tank in here. Um, Basically, if light oil is greater than, say, 20,000, um, then this will be enabled, otherwise it won't, so it will go this way. And we'll get rid of that, and go there. Uh, 
So um, when this is running, we're filling up this tank. You can see it's actually filling up reasonably quickly. Um, this one is running these at a much slower rate possibly now. We might even be able to get rid of one of these. Um, now, where do I want to put my um, 16? That's actually quite big. Uh, what I want to do is come over to this design and basically pick up um, 16. Uh, what's something I don't need? That probably. So that would be uh, one, two, in fact, it will count for me. There we go. Um, that's not bad. I could have that sort of. Um, down here. Oh, I need to line this up with rail, which of course I'll have screwed up probably. Uh, yep. So, I need to get rid of all of that. And replace it. see if we can have the rail sort of come in and ooh. is that an issue maybe it is if we moved it over to about here that would be better So this way, if we need to extend to these others, we can. Um, are we going to need to? I don't know. Here we go. Now, um, pipes. I don't think this is going to run at such a... Uh, that's a problem because we're too close to this now hmm. there's no reason this has to be this far back though uh, what have I got here that's fascinating but I can get rid of it what I want. So, um, this means that you can come to here and we can carry on this thing like so. Uh, what's that? No idea. I am so looking forward to that version 17 function, which is just copy. Of course, version 17 seems to be getting ever closer with the new science um, changes. That would kind of make this whole base redundant, and so I need to finish it up before we get to that point. Um, I could probably just about do the rest of this. Uh, 
here we go. We kind of should have expected that, shouldn't we? Um. Why do we go up so high? Why don't we just wrap round like that? That's probably what we'll end up doing. Uh, since this is way too long. Maybe I was trying to avoid the stone or something. Seems a largely redundant exercise. Um, I do have some signals up there, okay. for this one and join it up and time for the bots to play one here can come out that one and we won't need that light come on stragglers I'm working on your speed you got no, nothing to complain about um, how is our launching going looks like we've done some more Ooh, we might be getting some no they've just finished some are they able to do any more doesn't look like it. What's that fuel arriving? But hopelessly slow with uh, LDS again. 101. Aha. Uh -huh. well, this will take off very soon. Now I think I changed the formula in this as well so that when it's loading um, either 10 seconds, it needs to be over 105,000, which uh, it's, it is now. So space science can head off very soon. We're almost up to 3,000 rocket silos. This has certainly moved on a lot faster since, um, well, bumping ourselves up from just the tiny bit that we were doing in the starter base expecting you to take off at any moment. 10 seconds of it, there you go. You must have done a, a trip. So that will come roaring down to here. Um, and that's probably just in time. Hopefully it gets in here before now let's just make sure we can't see like science bottles anywhere. 
because that would be bad because that basically means that um, we weren't able to unload the last science train. It looks like they've all, it looks like we have actually run out though, so we are still slower with the uh, science uh, space science than we are with the rest of it in spite of holdups. <clears throat> so certainly after oil we'll be doing um, LDS to get that up to speed. But um, yeah you should be moving pretty much immediately coming straight into here. Uh, let's just make sure that all of it unloads. Since we're watching it. And the time that I've set is basically enough to put a, just over 800, I think, per uh, by 40 um, separate labs. So that's sort of about 32, 33,000. So 105 should go down to sort of, um, what, 72 thereabouts. And then the train will take off. 73 close enough 72 73 and I've moved this so that it's far enough so that the top of the train doesn't get unloaded again and now we'll wrap round to this one but at least um, science has resumed very long before the whole lot does but we want to get rid of these gaps altogether oh and um, they all going yes they are so what was it 73 minus 32 sort of 51,000 I guess 50? Yeah. 50. No, 41. Yeah, 41. So we, we do get pretty close to burning through the whole lot. 41 or even 39. So I suppose the question is really what sort of average are we doing over like an hour if um, it keeps stopping all the time. Uh, okay, and are you also unloading everywhere? It looks like it. Um, and this should take it down to what was it? 39, so like three or four thousand or so, 35 or oh, five maybe um, back up to 28 but yeah let's check this over say the last hour so I guess it's not stopping for too long if the average over the last hour is 2.4 2.4 thousand a minute it's not bad numbers certainly not the 8,000 whoops I wanted to check what this actually was uh, uh, why are you going around again? Ah, oh, it doesn't need that, does it? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway. Um, at least we have resumed science. So we're doing about 2.4 thousand a minute. That's not too bad. Um, right, let's get back to work. Oh, what are you doing? Lay this down, guys. Uh, you're out of supplies already, okay. Well, as um, suggested, I will rob um, up here of beacons, at the very least.
because A I need to because this is not used anymore. Um, okay, can't insert. Let's just rush over here so that we can make some space. Now if we get all the beacons from there, we should have enough of the speed modules as well because these guys are using um, productivity modules. Um, I must have left a bunch of robots behind. Let's just check F4 for a moment and uh, show player robots. No, um, I haven't been keeping track of how many robots I have available, obviously. Uh, not that that's that big of an issue. Whoa, back up. Uh, let's just set this to beacons. Uh, where's beacons? There they are. I think it will give me the modules as well. Yes, it does. Um, that makes it easier to do something like that. And we'll fly on back. Looks like we're still a few beacons short. One, two, it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe sort of twenty beacons, something like that. But you never know, they might be on these robots. <laughs> All these ones, so we might actually have enough. Come on. Maybe not. Yes, I was a little bit surprised that those guys didn't pop out sooner, but that's fine. Um, okay, so in the order of 10 more. Excuse me. Now, let's um, <coughs> connect up the power. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a bit of a waste because we need the uh, productivity modules. Um, which is up. Oh dear. Uh, I'm not sure how many I need, so I'll just take as many as there are there, and hopefully these bots can catch up. We probably have far too many. It's better than having far too few, I suppose. Okay. So, we need the cars. Um, we need 16 cars. We need to return these things. We don't actually have room for 16 cars, but we can make it. Um, 
by extending this thing out. Um, oh, no, that's right, I can't. Um, uh, it would be bad for me to change the thingies over. So about there. The train stop. There they come. So, our first different configuration train. I'm just picking some of these up as they come in because that will save on our battery when we move back to fast legs. Uh, we won't be doing any charging at that point. So, um, yeah, let's drop off these um, excess productivity modules. I'm not even sure exactly how many I um, used there. And keep count, it seemed kind of pointless. Uh, good, they all fit. Now, um, It's possible we should make one more of these so that we can refuel this, or I should make one of the stops refuel this. Um, probably if we go up here. kind of want each one of these paths just to kind of lead back. We're going to have to go here, we're going to have to cross over here. I wonder if I should try and wrap around that. I don't know if it's really necessary, um, so I probably want to duck under both of those. Uh, then. Where are you going? Ah, oh, you're going up there. Yes, this is this is just the um No wait, what did you mean? Unload. Uh, that is not what we want, is it? Uh plus um Inactivity five seconds that would help. Oh well, it's going to do a lap, and we probably don't have enough of these unloaded to start the thing up again. Never mind, um, that's not important. Um, okay, so uh, that's 12. That's not well, we can use these to fuel this train up initially, anyway. Uh, oh, thanks, auto save. Um, and I can probably find the cars that I need just over here as well. Hopefully they're actually empty. Uh, yes.
Um, right. So, uh, we didn't quite pick up the inserters that go up there. Do I have any inserters left? Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Good. That was uh, reasonably effective recycling. Now, um, just to finish off. Um, there we go. And um, it looks like we need. Is that enough? Something like that, so that we get the full speed up everywhere. Uh, okay. How are we doing for time? Not too terribly. Now, the only problem is. Uh, this sort of system is likely to overload down here and unload down here a little bit until this fills up, which will be a long time coming. Uh, the other thing that we want to be careful of is well, this tank's constantly empty, so that's not going to run. So these two have dried up. Um, this one is still running. Um, how are we doing on petroleum gas. It looks like we still have tons of petroleum gas, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, it's going to burn through the fuel pretty quickly for the first few um, times. Uh, but that is going to be fine. So what I it's really hard to see these networks um, convey it's the orange makes it very difficult I want the train line to come up here uh, pretty close to the rail and I mean, I guess it may as well, because if it's over here, it's easy for it to come down here as well. So, I don't think on this one I need to worry about it going on the um, line here. Uh, okay. Uh. Ah. that, although that's not actually what I said I wanted, but never mind, it will do. Um, let's build that out, see how it looks. train station 
One, two, three, four. Probably want it to go forward just a bit more. Um. on this one uh, okay I might just transfer over I don't know how full we are we're not very full at all but I would like to see um, uh, I need to give this train that stop a decent name. For the moment, let's just swap that lot over. B Copper 5. So, B Copper 5 fuel. And you can go to B Copper 5 fuel, that one, um, for circuit condition for now. Oops. Uh, interesting. How close are we? Ooh, I think we're just one tile out. So, what I think I want to do is I want to see if I can preserve the... Um, I'm going to have to be careful when I'm in the middle uh, to find exactly what the spot is. So I'm basically hoping for about eight for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm hoping that that's the middle. Um. But I cannot see. <coughs> uh, what about if I play around with one of these? Okay. Looks like if I had one of these here, it would reach those, and if I had one down here, it would probably... Oh, it overreaches those, so I don't need it. That one... that one reaches them. Why are they flashing? Because um, they are in a network. I'm using the wrong sort of chests. It's part of the problem. Now, I don't actually want these to completely empty. I don't want the train running all the time, but it's only filling up a single train. Oh, well, here it's actually filling up two trains, but um, the point is still valid. We're going to need some power infrastructure. That will 
do um, see if we can So you're telling me that you're not inside the zone. You look like you're inside a zone. I don't actually know what your problem is. Uh, now I need I need the train basically to pull up in here. B copper five. That's the LDS one, is it not? Uh, copper. B copper 5. How much have you got on you? None. Go to B copper 5. This is not, um, that's not the right one. That one will only go to here, here. It's this train that we want. You go to B Copper 5. Interesting. Now this is where I need the requester chests. Okay. where it's going to be a little bit interesting around the corner. So these will request, say, they only need a small amount. Um, uh, not e uh, Four, actually, is what I'm going to request. Oh uh, yeah, I was in the green zone, I was not in the orange zone, that's what the issue was. Okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah, we need to get the orange zone over to here. And you need power. And all these bits are going to need inserters. And I could probably use blue inserters for this actually, so I might just do that. Because in general, a train is only going to need like one or two uh, fuel, if that. Oops. Um, we do need uh, these guys, uh, which we'll need to go. Um, Something like that, which probably means we could just about get rid of that, actually. Yep. Um, I might force the train to come back just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, since we do have that funny angle, you're already down to 1.3 again. Come on, off you go. Load up again. Um, 
they're down to about 19 so they are actually going to require a bit of fuel Uh, so did that work quite well? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might be slightly on the skewed side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am. So I would like to go up one further. Um, train stop. And a supply chest, which is just out of range from the looks of things. and unpowered oh yeah that's a good point use this one to fill up this train as well guys can request four because that is what a single bot can take. Um, and therefore we need one of these uh, up here. But as it happens we have actually drained that side of the train um, so what I want to do then is, is this a perfect copy of that? No, it doesn't appear to be. And this side is not active at the moment, I believe, because, um, oh no, it is active actually. Okay, come here. Uh, let's just set this up and I will leave the episode there I guess um, how much did we get in here oh we got a hundred we actually filled it up ah <laughs> oh dear well let's just leave the episode there this is but never mind um thanks for joining me and uh i'll see you next time i'll probably fill out a whole lot of this uh, a bit of it uh between times and next episode we will uh probably look at boosting up the lds so see you then guys bye bye for now <laughs>